Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Yorkshire Media 1. I am Mark, your host, your presenter, whatever you want me to be. Yes, I am cheaper and better than the BBC. So, it's the end of the month. And usually, this is what we do at the end of the month. I do what I call Mark's Mental Health Journey. In other words, I talk about my, my own mental health. Nobody else's. A disclaimer is, I am not a medical doctor, I'm only, I'm only talking about my own experience. So, if you're looking for any advice and things like that, then I can only talk about my own experience. And that's what I do talk about. And a bit of a recap for all my, for my new subscribers and, and subscribers who may not know. Or for other people who may just be wanting to watch this video for the first time. I will be talking about my own mental health and things like that. Um, I'm and I do t I, you know, I, I do say how I got the help and things like that. And it's as, it's as simple as that. I do suffer one PTSD and anxiety and things like that. And I I, I do have clinical depression as well. Um, I'm also I do get I, I do suffer from paranoia. I do get paranoia in tendencies and things like that, um, which that, you know, you know, you know, my girlfriend Jen will have to put up with and things like that, but so far she has to put up with it. And since I met Jen, I must admit my mental health has been hell of a lot better, it's been hell of a lot healthier. I haven't, how can I put it? Well, I, do, I, I just haven't been down, down. I've been happy and up, up, up sort of thing. And that when when anxiety does, it can be de debilitating and things like that. I have to build to you know, I have to build up to going out and things like that, and I have to want to go out as well. And, and yeah, it, 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 on your own, it, it, it's easy to put things off, but if you've got somebody at side of you saying, "Come on, let's go out," and then you do it, don't you? Yeah, I mean, well, I do. Once I'm out there, I'm fine. I'm all right. But it's 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 just getting there and getting things done and things like that. And also, I must admit, yeah, you know, since I've I've met my girlfriend, I, like I said, my mental health's been a lot better. I've been a lot more chirpy and happier and things like that. I haven't been as I haven't been thinking about suicide or all like that. Yeah, you know I mean. Um, but I, I have been concentrating on trying to help people who have got mental health. Who, yeah, you know, if, if for some reason that you want to talk, then comment below this video and talk basically. And that, um, I don't think anybody would take the Mickey. Well, I wouldn't take the Mickey. I do take things quite seriously when it comes to mental health and things like that. I think. You know, especially men's mental health. Um, a lot of men don't like to talk about the mental health. I'm different. I think by talking about it and by letting people know how I feel and how I, how I am, it does me the power of good. It really does. Um, like I say, it's, it, it is good to talk. And a lot of, a lot of men think mental health is a sign of weakness and she, you know it's something to be shameful about no you're wrong mental health is not don't forget mental health you don't choose mental health mental health chooses you and things like that and you can you know you, know, you can get any kind of mental health at any time I'm, I'm, I mean it, it can all start with trauma and things like that and I have had trauma in my early life and I've also had trauma Going back, it'll be it, going back ten years to two thousand thirteen, where he had a car crash and near death experience and things like that, and yeah, all this can have a thing. And I was diagnosed with PTSD in hospital, and I I, I also was very recently diagnosed with anxiety when the lockdown began. Um, the doctor, you know, he ran through it, and he says. I need to, yeah, 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 yeah. I need for you to fill this questionnaire out, and I filled it out. I answered it, and he says, "Yeah, you've got, you know, you know, you definitely got anxiety and things like that." And 
you know, I started going to a discussion group and talking and things like that, and it does really help. And that's how come I started off doing my mental health, because I think a lot of people should take mental health seriously. Um, and that, because there is big, you know, there's issues where everyone's got with mental health. And it's just knowing where to talk and that. And I think if you see someone talking about it, like I do on, on here, then most probably it would encourage you to talk about it as well and tell your family and tell your friends and things like that because they really need to know. That's your support system. When you think about it, you've got your friends and you've got your family, especially your close friends and things like that. I mean, I've got a, I've got a friend who I've known for 40 years and I can tell him almost anything and things like that. And then, then I found, then like I say, I found Jen. Um, my, my girlfriend, you know, Jim V seventy two. I found her, and 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 she listens and talks to me and things like that, and and you know, if needed, she would advise me and things like that. But since I've, I've since I started a relationship with her, my mental health has has been held a lot better, I've been held a lot healthier and things like that. I haven't been as down and miserable, you know that, yeah. I get tired and I get argumentative, lack of sleep. That's down to me going to sleep and having nightmares and waking up and then not going back to sleep and things like that. Because I do dream of the car crash. Nighty, day in, day out, I, I, it's always in my head. Every time I close my, my eyes, it transports me back to that particular time and I go through it and go through it and go through it. And then I wake up and then I don't want to go back to sleep and things like that. So... Yeah, you know I mean, it, it, it is a car crash what's stuck in me head. Um, it's getting less and less, but, you know, every now and again, it, this dream, this nightmare, as I call it, reappears. Um, I don't need any reminders of it. I'm never going to forget that, what happened to me. And Yeah, I mean, I, I, I nearly died, but I'm never going to forget it, so I don't know why it keeps appearing, but it does. Funny, you know, you know, funny thing is, when I was with Jen in September last year, none of that mattered. It, 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 it just seemed to melt away in the background and things like that. So, and then I got anxiety through 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 lockdowns and that. Lockdowns, what we shouldn't never have had, but I, I got anxiety, got mental health problems, and so did rest of the United Kingdom and the rest of the world. But they they got a mental. A, a mental health crisis, what they didn't need, really. Same with, with the UK. Um, there were a lot of people, I suppose, when we're going through lockdown, I mean, I were talking about this. I was talking about the effects of it um, on another on, on the other channel, what I used to have before it got hacked. But I was talking about, you know, what was happening to me going through lockdown. And I swear blind, I nearly cracked up. I, I really did. Yeah, you know I mean, but at the end of the day, I I, I broke. You know, I eventually went out and went for a walk and things like that. I kept doing it every day and that. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, the government had no right in doing what they did. At the end of the day, but there you go. It is what it is. But yeah, it's it. That's how it affected me, and that. But lately. I've been a hell of a lot better, I've been a hell of a lot healthier and thinking a lot clearer and just concentrating on my channel and my relationship and things like that and yeah, things are working out for the best and things like that, yeah, but you do, you do get down and you do get depressed, I mean, type 2 diabetes, I get depressed in taking my drugs and things like that, but it is what it is, you know I mean, you take, you take the tablets to survive and to live and things like that, but it is depressing it can really well it can get you down it's depression it can get you down it, 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 it really can it a lot of, you know some people can have anxiety where they're staying in bed for days and days and weeks and weeks and weeks things like that i'm lucky i've got moderate anxiety um it's what we call halfway else between the you know you know, you know really bad anxiety and and, and really really what they would call weak anxiety i've got like a a moderate one i suppose and that which is 
gets better every day and that I just got to remind myself and that, that I'm safe where they am no one's going to come and hurt me and things like that and everything cools it, it does cool down but um, there is people out there who will try and take advantage of that but you just don't listen to them kind of people and things like that so yeah yeah so my mental health is my mental health I, 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 to tell you the truth but that is you can get help out there first port of call is your own your own doctor your own gp he's your first port of call and then he he can help you get the help what you really need and things like that if you need to talk to like <clears throat> you know if you feel suicidal and things like that a lot of people do and you need to talk and then i would recommend talking to samaritans um outline uh, i would only say yeah one one six one two three that's what i would honestly say you need to talk to them they can help you um and that they can talk to you and, and, and get you the help of what you really need. There's other organisations out there what can help like mind and things like that. But I think the main concern of, of mental health nowadays, and it, it is, it, it is what it is, and it is what the government's bought onto itself, really. You know, it, it's crisis point with the cost of living. And it, it really is, it, it's more than a crisis. It, it, it's, a, it's a disgrace and it is... A UK wide emergency basically and um, you've got charities like the, the the Twistle Trust and things like that who help um, and stuff like that but you know, I mean all, all, all this uncertain certainty and things like that of yeah why well, are you going to be working next week and things like that you know what I mean how are you going to be earning enough money to so you can do the shopping so you can feed yourself and put money on the table for, for your family and I feel sorry for people who have kids at this moment in time at home and the the struggling to make ends meet and that can cause a, a mental health issue and depression and things like that and it also can drive a person to take you know try and take their own life that's why I direct them to the Samaritans helpline 116123 to try and help them ease that burden just to talk you know i mean the samaritans are trained in this kind of thing um and that everyone who volunteers for samaritans does does get trained how how to talk to people how to give them lip service and things like that but it is something what we cannot take for granted anymore i mean you get a lot of celebrities saying oh well i'm depressed and things like that yes a lot of celebrities are depressed and can be depressed at the certain time and I mean there is famous people who've taken their lives because they, they didn't know where to turn or they they couldn't or they felt uncomfortable in talking about it and things like that. You know what I mean? So it, it is it it, it 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 can be really bad. And I thought if I talked about it, it may help others to do the same. So if it helps one person, I'm happy, and things like that. So, if you're still here, after me jabbering on about mental health and things like that, then please, please feel free to like the video. So please like the video, please subscribe if, you, if you're new, hit the bell icon, it'll, that will let you know when I'm uploading another video. Please come back, from, please, please, please share the video to your friends and your family and to other social media like x facebook instagram twitch and any other social media you can think of also use the comment section below i do and try and answer all comments as much as i can but there you go yeah you know i mean now you know why i talk about my mental health it's to help me and it is also it is also to just to say me talking to this camera helps me a lot it keeps me sane basically it really does uh, thank you for listening and i catch you on the next video bye for now catch you all later bye